Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Review. Something a little bit off the cuff. Just uh, pulled my phone out um, and I wanted to show you guys what is out. And again, it is the new version of the um, Smash Tag by Old First W, Gene McCarthy's. Boom. Uh, it just came out yesterday, um, I believe. And I wanted to get it onto kind of video so that you guys um, can make some arrangements to get down there and get some you know uh it's got that very small supply and high demand sort of market which makes it pretty um you know difficult to come by or pretty difficult to find you know five days later a week later do you know what i mean uh the last time i had smash tag on here was around maybe march I can't remember when, but I had snow on the ground. Uh, I remember taking pictures of the beer and, and the snow pile, all that good stuff. And uh, so I, I believe it's been a little while since uh, since it's been out. So I miss it. It's a, it's a great beer. Um, I just wanted to throw this out there, this little video out there, just off the cuff, um, show you guys, remind you, peak your memory. You know, spark your memory a little bit. It's out there. It's ready to rock. What is that on my glass? Oh, it's a little bug. It's just on the outside. Got a little wet. Stan, the man's over here helping me out with the little uh, review. Hi, buddy boy. Anyway, uh, it's as cloudy and murky and awesome viscous as you imagine. And it's got that super wet, juicy dankness that you just do not find with every single local IPA. Wow, wicked. Um, small bits of bitterness, but mega doses of like wet, juicy dankness, and it's awesome. Uh, you get those citrus notes, you get the, the grapefruit vibe, right? The white peach sort of vibe. You get these citrus notes that are well-rounded nothing's coming at you at sharp angles right if you get some of the floral vibes too um but those are everything is matted everything kind of uh matted muted and kind of it blends in with each other super easily man oh man same sort of mouthfeel super uh smooth really clean um the juiciness lingers a little bit but not too much into that you know aftertaste and it still comes across as clean and enjoyable really 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 um i only have a couple of really really petty gripes about it one it's not a year-round uh brew i mean really that's that's a pain in my ass and I, I assume from the way that they sell out, it's a pain in a lot of people's asses. This is a fantastic beer that should be brewed and canned on the regular. That's just the way it is. There's Stan. Chill out, dude. Anyway, second, I'd say maybe the just the, the 32 ounce growler uh, limit. That's it, man. Uh, other than that, I don't really have any anything bad to say about this beer. It's freaking great. Freaking great. Um, yeah, so that's a, a little off the cuff look at, um, smash tag from old first ward. Uh, just, you know, a great example of what you can do with a single malt and a single hop. And, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, this, you know, huge production with, you know, four different, um, you know, hops and, you know, bittering agents and flavor agents and, and this, that, the other thing and blah, 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 blah. It's just. It's as simple as it is. It's a smash. It's a smash IPA and it's a smash hit. So that's it for me. Just a little look reminding you um, if you think that this is something that uh, is up your alley, uh, don't wait around. You guys got to get back down to uh, the old first ward and uh, check it out. And while you're there, you know, pressure drops right around, literally right around the corner. I don't even know if it's a, around the corner. It's like a hundred feet down the sidewalk. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the a little reminder, a little look into uh, Smash Tag. Hit that like button or subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.